Welcome again to this filing of return. That is the individual return using the P9 form or the ITR form in the ITAX perspective. Remember, this year filing for the last financial year income is a bit different because we have two split period. Due to the introduction of SHA, housing levy, being changed to allowable deduction is what will affect the filing of your returns. So you have to calculate first the reliefs, insurance relief from 1st of January to, to November 2024. Thereafter, the month of December is now is a different aspect. So make sure that you watch this video throughout the end so that you can know how to navigate all this filing of pay or the income tax. So let's get in. Go to your search browser, write iTax. You, it will take you to this page. Click continue, put your password, put your password. If you can't remember your password, if you can't remember your password, it's very simple. You just need to click that area which is asking you to forget the password and uh, you will get one login time password in, in your email. This one need us to verify our account. We will put our number here for verification and we will wait for the verification code. Once you get the, once you get the verification, submit, and you will be there in the section or the ITAX dashboard. So we'll go direct to the file return. First, we will start with the filing using Excel. So we'll go to returns. File return obligation, the resident. Next, download Excel form, which is uh, this one. Click here to download Excel form. So click to download Excel form. Once you download the Excel, copy and save it in a different folder file so that it can enable you to validate. That's the reason why we normally copy this Excel and paste in a different folder for validation purpose. For validation purpose. So I will open this, which is this Excel, copy this Excel, go and save it in a different folder. Once you saved, right click, go to properties and unblock the security reason or the security for the purpose of validation, click OK. Now, once you have done that, <clears throat> is now you need to open this Excel and have your PIN 9 form. You need to have this Excel and have your PIN 9 form. So first, I will open this Excel form. Here we go. I will put the pin or I can put the pin here. You can just go to your browser, copy the pin. And this pin, if you want to paste in this Excel of KRA, you don't paste direct here, but paste in the formula bar and then select the type of the return period, which is original. The period is from 1st January 2024 to that 1st December 2024. To that 1st December 2024. Good.
Now, if you have other income, assuming that you provided to the consultancy service and uh, the other party does withholding, then you have to activate this. Yeah, do you want to do have any other income? So we don't have at the moment. Then um, remember for the insurance NHIF, remember NHIF was active from 1st January to 1st November or September 20, 2024. So you have to activate this NHIF. Do you have insurance policy? So you say yes. And the insurance section, which is section L, will be introduced. It was not there. So once you activate this, it will be introduced here on the uh, section L section. Now, so having filled this basic information, then now we go to section F, that is the employment, employment income. So this employment income, we will be using P9 form to fill in this employment income data. So let's go. So I will open the P9 form so that you can be able to see what is there in our P9 form. Let me increase the, or zoom in. So if I zoom, this is our P9 form. The P9 form is very simple uh, form, which it has the gross pay, avoidable housing, and social health insurance, the retirement uh, deduction, chargeable pay, tax charge, personal relief, insurance relief, and the pay, and the pay. So once you have this, <clears throat> we go to that section F under the P9 or IT1. So if you go to this section, we will need the pin of the employer, which you can write the pin of the employer. I remember it has to be 11 digits. Yes, and then employer, I will say ABC company, ABC company. Then the gross pay, this amount you get it from your P9 form. So in our P9 form, we have the total gross pay for that period, which is um, 440,000, 440,000. So I will put 440,000 here. And if it given that you have other benefit, even though for this one, we have not seen any other benefit, you can put there the, the car benefit, but we don't have put zero, zero, put zero, zero. So you have done it with the section F employment section. Now you go to section M for the details of the pay deducted. Remember pay is one of the tax you paid in advance. So I will select my pin here. For the name of the company ABC, I can go back to section F and copy this. You just need to click this section, uh, go to the formula path, select and copy that, come to this. You don't paste direct. You can see here, you are not allowed. You just need to put your cursor in the formula bar and paste there the name of the company. Now, the taxable salary, it is there in our, it is there in our, it is there in our P9 form, which is this one. So the taxable pay is a chargeable pay which it is, in this case, is 424, 57.50, as per this P9 form. So I will put this amount here, 424, 507.50. And then uh, that is the taxable salary, which is our, let's see if it is that correct, the correct one. Yes, chargeable pay, that is it. The tax charge also you have there, that is 96.052.35. That is our tax charge. So I put here 96.052.35. And then to the amount of pay deducted, the amount of pay deducted, 
So the amount of pay deducted, the last section is 79, 792.35. So we come here, I put that amount, 79.35. 79 to 0.35 you get right that's it it's very simple so the amount tax payable year which is 16 620 uh, 16 to 60 is uh it should be the personal relief remember pay you don't pay anything this is the amount you pay in advance so you are claiming this one is not that you have to pay so which mean this 16 to 60 is our personal relief. So if you go to that P9, our personal relief and all other insurance relief should amount to this 16. So if you go back to that, uh, personal relief here, we have 14,400 plus insurance relief, which is 18, 18, 680, 18, 680. So if you add the two, it should amount to your personal relief of 18 to 60. So that is the, the second part of this filling of this IT1. Now we need to fill in the L section that is for the insurance. So for the insurance, you will be asked the pin of the insurance, which is the pin of the NHIF company. And uh, if you check your email, NHIF have already sent you these document to your email in the previous financial period. So make sure that you check your email to get the detail of uh, NHIF. So we got, we got the detail of NHIF here. So I will copy the pin of NHIF, go and paste in that section. And also I think we should write that. Eh? It's not picking if you copy direct. Maybe there's small issues there. Okay, let's write, then we will put direct there. So I can delete this and type if it is not giving me that. P05, P05, one, nine, two, thirty-two, D. Then I will also need the name of NHIF National Hospital Insurance Fund paste there and then select here NHIF that you'll have to repeat this again because of that so put your NHIF number this one you also need to repeat it again Good. Now, you have, we are not done. Now, here, put the total amount of the insurance you paid. That is NHIF from uh, 1st of January to up to the introduction of share. Remember, the share was introduced just uh, in the month of October and November. So, up to the 1st of uh, September, that is the total amount of the NHIF you paid. So if you can um, you can go to the online website which you use to calculate the pay, and also even you can request from us the payroll system Excel one, which can enable you to calculate for you the NHI from first January to September. So you put the total cumulative year of the amount you paid. They will going to calculate amount of the insurance here, fifteen percent of that. So fifteen percent of twelve or eight hundred is coming to eighty eighteen sixty which it is as per, as per our, which is as per this P9 form. So we have 18 there. So we have already now claimed the insurance. Now you go to another section here, which is the last section. Now we have filled the section M, we go to the last section. So the last section is, you will, they will populate the total amount of the personal relief, but make sure that 
the personal relief is not that it is not compulsory that it is 28800 no you have to count the number of months like in this case we have 14400 that is our personal relief there and then uh, we have also the section of share so you put the amount of share which you contributed as per your as per that your p9 so also if we go to our p9 here we also have a defined contribution scheme which is uh nssf so in this case is 18880 so you come here and put my here defined pension of 18880 and that is it so once you have this uh, it means that we have an uh, over excess here, which is okay. So if it is excess, you'll have to provide for the bank detail. If it is not excess, then you'll have to pay. So once you have done that, you just need to validate. You just need to validate this and make sure that you are not getting any error. If you are getting any error, then you have to go back and fill. We'll get error because of uh, the negative side. We are getting a negative way, so you have to provide the bank detail. So once you have done that, that is the procedure for the for the Excel site. Now you can also do it in the online without filling this Excel. For the online option, before that, uh, once you have done it with the other one for Excel, you just need to come here, choose, and then it will take you where you want to most of the time it's saved in the document so you will upload in the document like this one for example and then you close you open agree and submit that is it now for the online option it's also very simple you just need to go to file return now you use the itr for employment income only so once you do that put your period here from which period that is first january 2024 and then say yes do you have employment income say yes so once you have this it is the same it is the same theory it's the same procedure you have section f where uh, the income has been provided for you in this case so everything now in this itr form has been provided for you so you don't need to fill anything here you just need to go to the last section and check and put the defined contribution you can see the total and put the share housing levy and all this. So all these housing levy affordable nini and all this, you need to know how to calculate the number of rates and all that. And that is it. So very simple. If you have any questions, if you have any query, um, get in touch with our email in the comment section or in our, our conduct in that description. We will help you to file this return. And also we don't do the individual return only. We do the company return we do the taxation, tax planning. We also do bookkeeping for SMEs. So make sure that uh, if you have any challenge, get in touch, we will be able to help you. So make sure that you watch, subscribe, and also like. Thank you, our family.